Podiatrist. I've been in, uh, in the podiatry field for over, I think it's close to 40 years. I've been in the laser industry for over 20. The Remy laser system was developed for the podiatrist. It's effective, and there's a reason why I'm telling you this. This is not a commercial. It's effective, it has to be affordable to the patient and affordable to the practice. And you need to put your hands on that patient when you treat them. Is it extra time? Absolutely not. The Remy laser system, because uh, it's they're high powered class four lasers and comfortable. They're not hot, okay? They're very comfortable. You need to get the right dosage. Just like you have an antibiotic, you need to get the right dosage to eradicate or, uh, or, or treat an infection, among other things. You need to palpate. When you treat a, uh, let's say the plantar fascia, it could be any part of the body, but the plantar fascia, Typically, the pain is at the plantar medial insertion. You press on it, okay, initially. You treat it until the pain's gone. And you need to get the proper dosage, and you only know by palpation. When the pain is gone, that's how you know you have the right dosage. So robotic, unattended, there's no, there's no way to measure whether you've turned on the photochemical reaction. You need the proper dosage. Does that take time? Actually, it doesn't. By the time you set up a robotic or unattended laser with the patient. You're in the room, somebody's got to set them up, or you move them to a room. room the Lemmy laser treatment is finished. It's finished. And you can even take the Remy laser from room to room and from office to office. It's powerful, portable, multifunctional. We're talking about pain today, but it's the only laser that's 510K FDA cleared, that's powerful, portable, multifunctional, FDA cleared for pain, inflammation, fungus toenails, warts with or without anesthetic, and it's affordable. I'm the importer and the designer of this laser. Uh, we have over 400 of these just in podiatry alone. You don't need robotic unattended. Uh, and why? Because you need to put your hands on the patient to palpate the area to get the proper dosage. It's not time. Well, treat the patient for 10 minutes. How do you know you got the right energy in the area? And most podiatric pathology involves equinus. You should always or, or treat the Achilles to release the equinus when you're treating plantar fasciitis, arthritis, neuromas. You need to do that and you need to evaluate that, the release of it. I train you personally, I certify you, and I hope you reach out to further this discussion with me because I'm happy to answer any questions.